everyone and welcome back to another episode of Everything GOFS. So today we're going to be visiting a add-on, not visiting, using. It's the GFS pushback add-on. So let's get straight to it. So we have to use a GitHub mod for this. Um, I will have the link of this GitHub mod as link one in the description. It's by it's this this mod is made by totally real Elon Musk. So I'm not holding any credit for this. This is completely his idea. So basically, as you can see in this image, it adds a pushback um, carrier thingy. Um, not thingy, a pushback uh, carrier to the to the aircraft, and you can ask to use it whenever you want. So let's get straight into it. Our next step is actually to download a website. It is called Tampermont. If you haven't heard of it, it's really popular and it's used a lot. I have tried this add-on out before. I am just doing everything again. So this link for Tamper Monkey's home, the, the Tamper Monkey website is going to be in the description as well as link two. The reason I'm not putting the store links like Microsoft uh, Edge Store and Chrome Web Store is because depending on what browser you use, it gets you to a different store. Uh, Microsoft Edge gets you to Microsoft Edge Store, Chrome gets you to Chrome Web Store. So that's why I'm just linking the name and not linking the stores. So I am going to use the first one, which is black. It is the normal one, it's not the beta. And I'm gonna get it from the Microsoft Edge Store. So I'm just gonna get that extension. I am going to make the add-on physical. Okay, so then we have this um, welcome page from Pepper Monkey. I'm gonna delete that for now. Now, I did have a little bit of trouble with it. I already tried to retake this, with, take this current video once and it didn't work, so this is my second shot. I tried again before this video and it worked with a little bit of effort. So I am praying that it works now. So yeah, closing these pages, we don't need it. So the next thing you do is you open the Temper Monkey extension or you can just go to the website, doesn't even matter, and you create a new script. So you find this bit of code here. And um, yeah, so then we go to the GitHub, we go to main.js, main.javascript, javascript, what, javascript, I can't talk, and now what we have to do is copy this entire thing, so all the way down, copy it all up, then we go here, and then everything that's on this page, boom, gone. Now we replace it with the code we just copied. Now we go to save, and then it says sites. If I hover over it, it should say https gofs.php, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Make sure you have it enabled as well. So now we don't need this page anymore, we can just close it and the GitHub page. So, and now for GFS, you just have to reload the page. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but check the top of the screen. See how it says autopilot? Next to that, it says pushback. If you click on the extension for Temper Monkey, it has a red number one in it. There is something called GOFS pushback that has a enabled symbol. So that's how you know it's working. Now I'm going to change the camera just slightly so I can see it properly. Now if you press, 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 pushback, it opens a new page. Now this is what it's all about. 
to make sure it is at the bottom right corner. I'm going to make it slightly longer, then I'm going to enable pushback. Now, what do we have here? A fine pushback machine is what we have. So now I'm going to use it. So you can change the yaw. Just going to reset the camera and um, get an above view. So now I am going to make it go back. Oops, yep. Now, as you can see, it is extremely responsive. I don't think there's such a thing as acceleration. Now, we are completely ready to start taxiing off of the runway. So speed is 5, which is perfectly fine. Okay, so I'm going to reduce the speed down to 4. And then I'm going to change, I'm going to keep going straight actually. I don't want to start from here. Now, if you try to fly the plane while pushback is activated, it's not going to work. So, don't try it. Made a mistake. We have no option but to go there. So what I'm going to do is go back to the spot we were at before. And make our speed two and a half. I set the speed spe p speed quite low, so that is easier to control. As you can see, this is really difficult to do. We need a smaller aircraft to really master it. So now what I'm going to do is reverse out. And now I'm going to set the yaw to negative four-ish. Go forward really, really slowly. Then I'm going to set it back to the position for takeoff. That's perfect. Well guys, that is it. That is what this mod is all about. Now I'm going to disable pushback and it's no longer there. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this new add-on. Um, this was a shorter video because I don't want to waste time uploading. Um, wasting one hour uploading a video onto YouTube. Because it takes one hour to upload from... Okay, you don't even care. It's fine. Anyway, guys, this was a shorter video. Hopefully, you enjoyed. Thank you, and see you in the next one. Bye.